Hey everyone, standing here with this 2020 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. I'm gonna try to make this a one take video that I'll just upload to YouTube because my computer is currently bricked. Uh, so I have a bunch of videos recorded with this thing, but I have no means to edit them at the moment. But since this is such a cool truck, I wanna get something out there on it. Uh, had a lot of fun with this this week. I have the window sticker here, so uh, let's get started by taking a look at that. So, as you can see, it's army green, the best color ever on any TRD Pro model, maybe on any vehicle ever. As equipped, and there really aren't many options with these, it comes in at just a hair under $50,000. Not many options with the TRD Pro, as I said, you can get it with a manual transmission. Technically, it comes standard with a manual but uh, they're really hard to find. This one has the six-speed automatic. A couple options that this one does have are this sticker pack, which isn't, isn't as bad as it could be, let's be honest. It covers the hood, and then you get TRD Pro stickers on the bed size. But the most notable feature that this one has is the snorkel. Toyota insists on calling this the desert air intake because they don't want people to think it means their Tacoma can drive through four feet of water, uh, but either way, benefits outside of water of the snorkel here are that it raises the air intake up. Uh, I had this thing on a dusty dirt road for a little off-roading earlier today and had the air intake, I'm not sure where the air intake is on uh, non-snorkel equipped Tacoma, but this certainly raised up the air intake and allowed the vehicle to breathe cleaner air as I drove along. Uh, Pretty dusty dirt road. Other features of the TRD Pro, everyone knows the Toyota Wordmark grill. You get a hood scoop on the TRD Pro. 16 inch black TRD wheels. Pretty nice actually. I like them a lot. They're tasteful. They're apparently a lot lighter than uh, the other wheels. They come wrapped in these Goodyear Wrangler uh, all-terrain tires. They have Kevlon, Kevlar, excuse me, sidewalls and uh, really mild all-terrain tire but they're enough for me. Um, rides nice on the highway, doesn't make a lot of noise, and then gives you added confidence when you're off-road, especially knowing that there's that Kevlar layer uh, that'll keep you from getting a sidewall puncture. Behind those wheels and tires are the real reason you'd buy any Toyota TRD Pro product, and that's th this suspension. So it's co-developed with Fox. It's an internal bypass setup. Not sure exactly what that means, but it performs really well. I had this thing off-road today. Uh, a couple years ago, I had another one of these off-road. I've now driven all of Toyota's TRD Pro products, and uh, suspension's pretty great. I like it a lot. Moving down the way here, we'll take a look at the rear suspension. This one gets a piggyback reservoir, and what that does is increases the amount of travel that the shock has to move through the shock body by taking the oil and putting it outside the main body of the shock. Uh, another benefit of that is that the oil stays cooler longer, which results in prolonged performance over long distances. Bed on this thing is kind of interesting. It's a composite, so unlike on, say, the... Ford Ranger, Chevy Colorado, which come with steel beds. This is like a plastic, and you don't have to get this bed lined, which is really nice. So it's a nice molded plastic. Lines are really crisp. You don't have to paint anything in there or uh, scratch up a steel bed if you don't want to get a bed liner. Another feature back here is this three-prong power outlet. A lot of trucks have these. Not all of them come with a three-prong, though. Like the Honda Ridgeline, for example, just has a two-prong outlet back here. So that three-prong comes in handy if you have things to charge or uh, maybe an air compressor to power if you're filling up a mountain bike tire off your tailgate or filling up your own truck's tires. Tailgate's nice. It's damped. So that's always nice. Not all mid-sized trucks get a damped tailgate. Beyond that, snorkel is an interesting design. You have to take the top part off to take this truck through a car wash. The screws are able to be hand tightened. Technically, uh, I still use the flathead screwdriver to get them off because it's a little awkward. And uh, to get them tight enough that, well, it still kind of rattles around, but to get this thing tight enough that it didn't rattle around a lot, I had to use a flathead to screw it in there. But TRD on this, it's really well installed. There's a foam layer all the way around here, so I imagine they peel off uh, 
foam backing and then stick the snorkel in place in addition to, you know, cutting the hole. And uh, it holds it on really nicely there. And then up here is interesting how they attach it as well. There's a bracket that goes in through the uh, roof channel there. So you just have to, I'm not sure if they just cut this or if it comes with a, a new gutter guard here, but that's screwed in to the roof and then two bolts into the snorkel. So pretty nice design. This is technically an option on the TRD Pro, but you can buy it as an accessory. It costs $725 and it would fit onto any Tacoma. Other things up here, I almost forgot about these Rigid Industries fog lights. They're really nice. I've used them on all T Toyota's TRD Pro products up to this point. And uh, they can't legally be brighter than your average lights, but they're a lot crisper, a lot clearer. They make driving at night uh, a lot nicer. If you're rolling up to a campsite late at night um, and you've got a completely stock Tacoma TRD Pro, these Rigid Industries fog lights are something that you'll definitely appreciate having. Something else. Underneath you get this, uh, I think it's an aluminum skid plate, quarter inch aluminum. You can see how thick it is there. Not bad, doesn't, doesn't look like this one's taken any impacts yet, but as of last year I think, the TRD emblem in there is now red instead of just a, an embossed negative space. Some good active safety features come standard on this thing. Uh, that's this stuff right here. So you get automatic emergency braking radar cruise control, automatic high beams, and lane departure warning. And the TRD Pro and most Tacomas uh, offer it optional. TRD Pro gets standard blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic detection. I think that about covers the outside. Updates for 2020 include these new headlights, like I mentioned, new wheels. It's now available in army green. Historically, Toyota has made these unique TRD Pro colors only available for one year, but I really hope they keep Army Green around uh, for next year and into the future because it's just such a fantastic color. One more thing I forgot to mention is you get a TRD catback exhaust on this thing. It just really adds to the experience. You turn this thing on, it kind of rocks back and forth if you shift your weight around in the truck. Put it into drive, it's a real clunky automatic shifter. Slam it into drive, pull away, and uh, this TRD exhaust just sounds really cool. It's got a really fun uh, old school 1980s Toyota truck vibe. Anytime I sit down behind the wheel, uh, I feel like Marty McFly because this truck just has that cool demeanor to it. We'll hop inside. Start it up. So there's a new 8-inch infotainment screen for 2020. Android Auto and Apple CarPlay now come standard on the Tacoma. Uh, the 8-inch screen comes on all but the base model. I think base models get a 7-inch screen. You hit them with the but uh, you go in. TRD Pro models come with this nice 8-inch screen. 6-speed uh, automatic in this thing. Wireless charging. Power rear window. So that's kind of funny. You see that? There you go. Not all mid-sized trucks offer that. Color screen in the gauge cluster here. Uh, if you've been in any modern Toyota product, you've probably recognized that. New for 2020 is this camera system. So we'll go ahead and turn that on. So it's, in theory, it's, it's really great. You get a top-down view, which is nice for parking. And then this is a view out the front. There's also, let's see here, you can shift through some of these menu items here. This is kind of the weird thing about it. It's just hard. It's it's not real intuitive. It's not a real clean design. Uh, cameras are really low resolution, unfortunately. And then you get to the backup camera, and it's it's even worse. Um, I'd like to see a better camera in this thing because it's hard to use this for actual off-roading because it makes it difficult to tell the difference between a pile of dead sticks and a rock. It's okay to run over a pile of dead sticks. It's not okay to run over a rock. And uh, this camera doesn't really, I hate to say, allow you to tell the difference between the two. Um, but old school cabin in this thing. I like it a lot. It's modern in the areas where it should be modern. And it's classic and durable in the areas that it should be. Um, high quality hard plastic. This is kind of a rubbery surface. Over on the door here, there's more of that rubbery stuff. More high quality hard plastic. One touch up and down for the front windows. 
You've got your camera button over here. There's a light for the uh, cargo area. There's a button to turn on that power outlet in the bed. Button for the automatic high beams. Yeah, not much has changed here in the Tacoma's cabin since 2016, aside from updated infotainment and added active safety features. Let's hop in the back seat. There's an okay amount of room back there. You're not gonna get a ton of space in the back seat of any mid-sized truck. And that's the case here. I've got the seat kind of far back. The Tacoma has a really weird driving position. Um, you kind of sit with your feet out in front of you. This area that goes up, this area of the cab that goes up behind the pedals kind of comes up abruptly. So it's kind of strange. Took me a while to get the seat configured how I like it. And I still, I still don't feel like it's totally comfortable, um, but I'd get used to it. And another addition for 2020 is a power adjustable driver's seat and it allows you to raise it up and down, which helps to alleviate some of that weird driving position. Uh, Tacoma TRD Pro didn't always come with a sunroof. I think that was an addition for last year, maybe this year, but that's a recent addition either way. Seat leather's pretty nice. It's this kind of square pattern. There's some red stitching. Upholstery is nice. It's durable, definitely durable. You can wipe it down or vacuum it out pretty easily. Climb up in the front seat and I will share some more thoughts. Okay, I hope you can see me here. Um, so the Tacoma TRD Pro, I love this truck. It's a ton of fun to drive. Uh, like I said, I've got some other more uh, detailed videos uh, that I'll be editing whenever I'm able to. But I took this thing off-road today. I took one off-road a couple years ago too. It's a ton of fun. Um, suspension's really nice. I think for someone who doesn't want to like mod the crap out of their truck, this is a great vehicle to buy. Uh, you'll pay about 50,000. They're hard to come by, especially with a manual transmission, like extremely hard to come by. Dealers will often mark them up. Don't pay over MSRP for one of these. That's just insane. But um, it's a really fun truck. Uh, by itself, it's got some quirky things. Six-speed automatic transmission is very strangely programmed could be a lot better and then the driving position is kind of weird but beyond that with this infotainment update with the active safety features and with all these cool features like the snorkel this green color this truck kind of offers everything you could want out of a mid-sized pickup um there's just some weird things with the powertrain which you know you can get into uh, in further detail elsewhere but um other than that, it's a cool truck. I love it. I've had a ton of fun driving it. Uh, I gotta wear. A, it's the kind of vehicle you gotta have a backwards hat on anytime you drive it. It's just that kind of cool vibe to it. So I think that about covers the 2020 Tacoma TRD Pro. Like I said, more videos uh, I'll have published on this whenever I can. But yeah, just wanted to give you a look at what is easily one of the coolest trucks you can currently buy in 2020. Thanks for watching.